I like my coffee with cream. Now let's build daily interaction number 16. Hey, what's up everyone? John with WebDev for you and welcome to the daily interaction series where every weekday we build a new interaction or animation in Webflow. Today we're gonna build a full screen video background with a slice reveal effect on load. So here when I click refresh, we see it says make things move. We have the slice reveal effect and then we have the video in the background. Uh, the text also changes color. So I'll click again, looks good. So we will be adding a full screen video background in this example. Uh, to view more daily interactions and premium content, visit web, webdevforyou.com. Also be sure to subscribe below to receive a notification every time there is a new daily interaction. Okay, so here I have a blank Webflow project and we'll start with the daily interaction class naming convention. So it's D dash the daily interaction number. So today is 16 and then the element. So every element on the site will have a D dash 16 in front of it. And this is for consistency purposes. And so that we know we're working with daily interaction number 16. The next thing I'll do is add a section. So I'll add an element, I'll add a section, and I'll give it the class name D-16 section. And then for the height, I'll set it to 100 VH. So it spans the full height of the viewport and it will be the full width as well. Um, we don't need to change the background color because we're gonna add a full screen video on top of it. Um, but for this, um, yeah, the other thing I wanna do is set it to a position of relative uh, because I am going to have an absolute position div inside of it um, and I want it I want it to be relative to the section and not relative to let's say the entire height of the page so by setting it to relative anything inside of it will be relative to it so the next thing I want to do is add a video wrapper so we can place the video and the slices inside of the wrapper so here I'll add an element I'll add a div block and I'll give it the class name D-16 video wrapper. And for this, I'll set it to a position of absolute and I'll set it to full. So it fills the entire section. And because the section is filling the entire viewport, this video wrapper will fill the entire viewport as well. And for this wrapper, I wanna set it to a display setting of flex, set it to horizontal, justify start and a line stretch. So this is what's going to allow us to create kind of that slice reveal effect. Um, so we're gonna, you know, place five slices uh, within this video wrapper. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is add the background video. So I'll add an element, I'll scroll down to components and I'll add a background video. And for this, I'll give it the class name D-16 background video and I'll scroll down to position, set it to absolute and full, okay? And I'll upload a video, so I'll select upload video and I'll select this video here, video.-mp4 and there we go. So yeah, the other thing I need to do for this video is set it to a height of 100%. So it fills the entire um, video wrapper. So let me just double check, see if that's what I did here. So background video, yeah, so we set it to a height of 100%. Okay, looks good. So yeah, we have that all set. Um, the other thing I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, for the video wrapper, we also wanna set it to a position or to an overflow of hidden because the slices inside of it um, are, gonna, uh, are gonna move down and we don't want them to be visible, visible outside of this video wrapper. So by setting it to an overflow of hidden, anything outside of it will not be visible. All right, looks good. So um, yeah, just to backtrack a bit, we added the section, we added the video wrapper, set it to a position of absolute and full. Then we added the background video, also set it to a position of absolute and full and a height of 100%. So it fills the entire video wrapper. So now if I preview, we have a full screen background video, perfect. So the next thing I wanna do is add the slices. So I'll go into the navigator, I'll select the video, video wrapper, 
and I'll add a div block. So I'll add an element and add a div block. And for the class name, I'll name it d-16 slice. And for this, because the parent element, which is the video wrapper, has a display setting of flex, uh, this div block is now a flex item and I can set it to expand. So it fills uh, the entire video wrapper, okay? And then I'll scroll down and for the background, I'll set it to a background color of white and it looks good. Uh, so because it's set to expand, if I copy and paste this slice, each slice will want to fill its uh, the available space. So as an example, if I go to Navigator and I have the slice here, if I hit Command-C to copy and then Command-V to paste, we now have two slices and they're equal distance or they're the same width because they're trying to fill the parent element. And if I paste again, now we have three slices, four and five. So now we have five slices and they're all the same width. Perfect. All right, so that looks good. Um, the last thing I wanna do is add the text um, here. So in the video wrapper, yes, I'll select video wrapper. Um, and let me see what the display setting is. Um, actually, no, for the text, I'm gonna add it to the section. And for the section, I'll give it, give it a display setting of flex, uh, justify center and align center. Um, and then I'll add some text. So I'll add an element and I'll add a text block. Notice the text is in the center. Um, I'll set it to a position of relative. So it goes to the front and then I'll style it a bit. So I'll say circular bold, give it a font weight of bold and the color of black. And then I'll say, um, make things move and, uh, We'll change the height here uh, or the font size to, yeah, we'll do 44, make it a little bit bigger and the line height of 50. All right, and I'll give it the class name D-16 uh, video text. Okay, so looking good. We have the background video, the slice. Um, we also want to add a, a color overlay to the background video. Uh, so for now, what I'm gonna do is hide the slice, so I'll select it. And here I'll say display setting at none. So we can see the background video behind it. Um, and then here, what I wanna do is select a video wrapper. I'll add another div block and I'll give it the class name D-16 video overlay. Okay, and uh, yeah, for this, I'll set it to a position of absolute and full. Then for the background, I'll give it a background color of this magenta and set it as an opacity, set an opacity of 70%. Okay, perfect. So there we have the overlay. Um, there is one more step for the background video. Um, I don't want any color to it so that the overlay, the overlay looks a bit better. So I'll select the background video and I'll go down to, and actually for the video overlay, let me set it to a display of none and I'll select the background video, go into styles, and uh, for the filters down here in effects, I'll add a filter, and I'll say uh, grayscale. So I'll say grayscale, and this will make the overlay look a bit better, and it'll make the entire video look a bit better as well. So now the video is grayscale, it doesn't have any color to it. So I'll go back into the video overlay, and I'll say display block, and there we go. So we have the video, if I preview, we have the video with the pink overlay um, and we don't have that kind of contrasty color uh, with the overlay because we set it to a grayscale, So it's just black and white. All right, so, so far so good. Uh, let me bring back the slices. So in the navigator, I'll select slice and set it to a display of block. And we also need to set it to a position of relative. Um, and then we need to give it a higher Z index. So it comes in front of the overlay. So I'll set it to like 10 and now it's in front. And then for the text, the video text, I'll set it uh, to a Z index of 15. So the Z index lets us play with the layer property. Uh, so because I have a few different layers, I have the background video, the video overlay, the slices and the text. I just wanna make sure that they're all in the correct order. So by changing the Z index, I can bring certain elements in front of other elements, all right? So I know I kind of went back and forth on a few different topics here. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. 
So let me just uh, recap a bit. So we have the video wrapper, we have the background video inside of it, we have the slices inside of the video wrapper and the video overlay. And then we have the text in the section so we can center it. So we set the section to a flex of center center and we added the text inside the section. Okay, so now we have all the elements we need to create the interaction. So the first thing I'll do, yeah, I'll go to interactions here in the upper right, select it, and this is gonna be a page load animation. So here for a page trigger, I'll click the plus, I'll select page load, and I'm gonna start it when the page finishes loading. Um, I like the idea of having the, everything on the site load first and then the animation kick in. It's just, it's just a personal preference, um, but you can do when page starts loading as well. Uh, so here where it says when page finishes loading, I'll start an animation. Uh, I'll add a new timed action and I'll name it D-16 page load. Uh, so the first thing I want to happen, I want that text to fade in. Then I want the slices to go down and then I want the text to turn from black to white. Uh, so here, the first thing I'll do is select uh, the text. So I'll select D-16 video text in the navigator, go into interactions, add a new time to action. I'll say opacity. And for the opacity right down here, I'll say 0%. Okay, and then I'll set it as the initial state. So we don't see it initially. Then I'll add another time to action. I'll say opacity. And for this, I'll give it a duration of one second and I'll set the easing to ease. So it's a nice e uh, transition when it fades in. It, so it has one second and it'll, it'll fade into 100%. So now I'll preview and it's fading in. So the next thing I wanna do is have the slices go down one after another. So I'll select the slice. I can select it here in the designer or go into the navigator and select slice. Um, so here I'll go back into interactions. And for this, I'll move it on the Y axis um, 100%. So here on the Y, I'll say 100%, and I'll give it an easing of ease out expo. And the duration of 0.5 is okay. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll right click, uh, duplicate, right click, change target, and I'll select the second slice. So I can select it here in the designer or in the navigator as well. Um, so yeah, I'll right click, duplicate, right click, change target, select the third slice, um, right click, duplicate, right click, change target, select the fourth slice, right click, duplicate, right click, change target, and select the fifth slice. Um, so now if I preview, so the text fades in and they go one after another. It's a bit slow, so what I wanna do is I wanna start all the slices together and then I'll give it um, a point to delay, so the reveal is a bit quicker. So I'm gonna start at the bottom uh, because Webflow will rearrange the slices here if I start at the top. So if I add a delay at the top, this top one will move to the bottom and I won't know which slice is which because they all have the same um, the same class name. Um, so by starting at the bottom, all the slices will stay in place. So this is gonna be 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0.8. So for the delay, I'll say 0.8. For this one, I'll say 0.6, and this one, I'll say 0 0.4, this one, I'll say 0.2. So there we have it, 0, 0, 0.2, 0, 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0.8. So the reveal will be a bit quicker. So now when I preview, make things move, and we have the nice slice reveal effect. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is change this text color to white as the, uh, as the slices are revealing. So. Um, I'll select the video text, go into the interaction, and I'll say, uh, let's see here, I'll say text color. So I'll add a time to action, say text color, and for the color, I'll change it to white. All right, and we'll have it uh, change, we'll set the easing to ease, um, so it's a bit smoother, and point duration of 0.5 is okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Um, so here I'll start it with the slices, and I want it to start after the first slice reveals. So I'll give it a delay of 0.2. So we have slice one, as slice two is uh, revealing, the text will change color, all right? So the reason I did that is because you can still see the text 
when the second slice is there. So once the second slice is removed, that's when the text will change color. All right, so there's a more of, con of a contrast between the pink and the white. So now if I preview, make things move, and perfect. So as that second slice uh, reveals or goes down, the text changes color to white. Um, and that's it. So now when I preview, make things move, we have the reveal effect, we have a full screen background video. Um, it does work on all devices, on uh, desktop, no, on ta tablet and mobile, it, a poster image will show instead. So an image of the video will show because uh, those devices re require user input to play video. So instead of the video playing automatically on those devices, it, an image will show. But on desktop, the video will play uh, just fine. Um, so it looks good. Um, and I would want to play with this here. Not sure why that text isn't centered. So here, yeah, what I can do, go into styles and center the text, yeah, for mobile. All right, so preview, make things move, and looks good. So this can make for a really nice uh, introduction for your website. You can have a nice background video. So I can publish, publish two selected domains, and we can preview in the browser. Looks good. Uh, so that's it uh, with creating a full screen uh, background video with the slice reveal effect. Um, I know I went a little bit back and forth as I was creating the elements. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comment section below or in the forum section. Um, but yeah, that's it for daily interaction number 16. Yeah, full screen background video with a slice reveal effect. Uh, to view more daily interactions and premium content, visit webdevforyou.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next daily interaction.